Hey guys, this is Chris, the Lower Slower Board Gamer, and tonight I thought I would share um, my solo variant for the game Azul. Um, it is a domino style tile placing game, and you'll see how to play it as we go through, but I also wanted to share my take on a solo variant for this. So let us go ahead and head on down to the table. It is a beautiful game to look at. I, every time I pull this out, I just I have to look at it for five minutes before I can bring myself to break the trance and start to play. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, you set up as a normal two-player game, only you're going to be the one here. Um, how the well, we'll explain how the AI works as we go. But let's go ahead and get four on each of these. Ah, we'll hold on to that one. Get these all sets up. Dink. You're gonna do just like a normal game. You're gonna put four of these on the factory floor tiles on each one. The object is to draw from here to fill up one of these rows in whatever color you choose you're going to place it over here. Um, you'll see that as we go. Uh, if you do not complete a row you do not score it and those tiles will stay and then you complete it on the next turn if you can or however long it takes you to do it. Um, how the AI works well, we'll show you. Um, it's basically a beat your own score kind of thing. And I use a D8 to keep track of the turn because I subtract points at the end of the game. However, whatever turn it is, however long it takes me to do it, that's how many points I take off my total. And I use this for tiebreakers for what the AI is going to remove that I cannot use. Alrighty, so we are going to slide this over a little bit more, I think. Let's do that. Okay. Alrighty, so we have, yeah, haven't played this yet for channel, so, you know, just getting things set so that way we can do stuffs. All right. So if I'm going to be first player, you're always first player on the first turn. And we are going to use a box lid to throw the tiles in. Alrighty. So I would like to stay here somewhere and I really want to be able to complete um, all of a color. The bonus for which is 10 points per color at the end of it. Um, you go until someone complete until you complete a row and a column, two rows, two columns, or a row and a column. I'm going to go that long. Um, two bonus points per row, seven bonus points per filled column. So first, I believe I am going to take two blues and place them right there, starting from the leftmost open space fill in as you go. So these go here. And this now goes in since I played it. The AI is going to take the most of a color in a single location. So if there were three blues here it would take that. However we have two blues, two black, two white. So this is going to be one through two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight we reroll. It's going to be five. So it is going to take the two whites Throw them away. These go in here. It's always going to take from the factory floor tiles first before it takes from this pool. Next, well, I would like to complete that. So I'm going to go ahead and take this and place these over here. The AI um, evens or odds and evens because it's going to take from these first. Even. So it's going to take those blacks and remove them. Dink, dink, a red and a white. Now, if I take from there, 
it's going to get first player and the Reds are going to disappear. I'm not worried about the Reds disappearing, but I would like to have that first player. Uh, blue is here. I'd like to get some more blues, I think. Let's round that out. Let's do that. Okay, and then the reds will be gone. That's fine. I'm going to take the blues, like so, and a yellow and a black will come down here. Now, the AI is going to be first. So we'll put this up here, away from me, and the reds are going to be taken. I'm going to, so I can score some points this time around, take the yellow. Uh, we're going to go odds evens. I put this here for a reason. Uh, that is going to be odd. That is a, you can't really see it, but it is a one. Uh, so that means blacks are gone, which leaves me with these. And I'm going to place them. I want to place them here. One, two, three. That's the end of the first round. Now, any that you have filled up, you're going to remove the one furthest to the right and place it over here from the top down. Sorry, from the top down. So that is going to be one point, none adjacent. That's going to be one, two points. That's going to be one point. So that is my first round. Uh, these come off. These remain, and now we're going to do our second round. So let's go ahead and move that over to a two. Leave it there so I remember to do that every turn. I've had a couple hundred point games playing this variant. Um, I've had a couple of much lower games because I didn't give it a whole extra awful lot of thought distracted what I don't know but here we go laying our tiles out and that's and if you're playing multiple player uh, Azul then you take your turns and you go around each player taking from either one of the factory floor display areas or from the leftover pool okay and AI is going to go first. So, we have a pair, we have a pair, and we have a pair. So, that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, blue die. That's an eight. Roll it again. Seven. Roll it again. Four. So, one, two, three, four. These are taken. And we'll place these in here as well as the first player tile. My turn. I need to finish up that and have that available. That's not going to get taken. Okay, so we are going to take this white right here, which means the black, the red, and the blue are going to come into the center. Uh, we have a pair, so that's odds, that's evens. They take from there first. Three odds. Blues are gone. That'll be a red and a yellow. I'm going to take from here and take that blue. So there's a little bit of everything in the center. And now it takes from here because it takes from those first. And the reds are the greatest cluster in one place. Now I have a decision. What do I want to do? I'm doing white and yellow. I think I'm going to do the two yellows. Like so. And take the first player marker. Place it there. It's a negative point. Um, four reds are gone. Think I will take ah I really would like to ignore that for as long as possible. So I will take two white tiles and place them here. 
The blacks are gone. I've got to take a blue. So blue is going down here. I really need to blitz and get blue on the next turn to clear that one up. Okay, so. Uh, we score. So this comes over. One, two. Dink, dink. This comes over. One, two, three, four points. That goes away. This comes over. One, two, three points. And, uh, yeah, and this goes away. Alrighty, and then we take one away for this. And that is where we are after two turns. Turn three is coming up. Let's go ahead and fill our factory display tiles again. Ah! Trying to get colors, because you get more points for completed colors than anything else. Dink, dink, dink. Oh, by the way, this is one of my top ten games of all time. I'm just not telling you where on the list it is. Not going to happen. We have four pairs out there. We have five pairs. So it's going to be, and I'm first, but whatever is left, um, it would be one, two, three, four, five if the AI was rolling now. However, I am going to go first. I need to get those blues. Uh, which one do I want? Mm hmm. Huh. Okay. Blues, blues, blues. I'm going to take these. Hopefully the AI is not going to roll a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Watch this. Roll to 6. The white tiles are taken. And I will indeed take these last two blues. Place them there red and yellow so white is odds red is even even reds are gone yellow white you know what i want to take that first player take those yellows slide it right in there And then the AI will take from these first. So it takes the pair of white tiles. And I shall take this. Good, good. Reds are gone. I get two black. Now, I could take two. Or I could just take one if I decided I wanted to put it there. And then the other one comes down here as a negative point. But I do believe I am going to take the two. Score points with all of it. Okay, so for the third round, we are scoring points. So this comes over here. It's by itself, so it is a sole lone point. This one goes here. It is one, two, three, four, five. These are gone. This one goes here. It is a solitaire point. These go bye bye. This one goes here. One, two. These go a oh, ball boy. One, two. And then we have the negative point for the first player marker. So we will remove a point. So after three rounds, we are at 20 points. If you count the three, the four now kind of 16 points because remember I remove however many turns it has been from the final score alrighty fourth let us go ahead and fill the factory display tiles again there's a pair I have a clear board so I can pretty much pretty much uh, four blues would be nice 
three yellow would be nice. And there's a start on the blues. Um, some whites or blacks. Okay, there's some yellows. There are some whites. Uh, we have four pairs. I'm going to go first. And I do believe I want to go for blues. Let's do it. Let's sew that up. That goes right there. These go over here, as does the first player tile. Then we are going to have the AI go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight are re rolls. Eight's a re roll. Eight is a re roll. Three. One, two, three. Yellows are removed. Black and blue. Uh, next. I'm not going to get the yellows on this turn. Um, if I do that, it takes the blacks. Let's do that. Let's take these, place them there or here. Ah. Let's, let's go for it. Now, nah, yeah, let's go for it right there. And we'll bring these down uh, right here. The only pair up on the factory display tiles. So the AI will take that. Now, I think I need to take this to complete those blues and the first player marker. Then it's going to be e odds or evens for the AI. That's a four. The yellows are removed. I don't know that I want to take the black tiles. I will take that. AI will remove the pair of blacks. I will... Take that. Bringing these down, AI will take the reds. Which means I'll place a yellow here and the blue goes away. Once you have completed a color and placed it over here, you cannot start another row with that color. You are limited in that way. All right, let's score this round. Um, this comes over and scores one, two. One, two. This comes over and scores one, two, three, four, five. And this comes over. I've completed my blues, but that scores one, two, three. Not diagonal, only orthogonally. Anything adjacent. So one, two, three. One, two, three. First player is a minus one point. And we're going to the fifth round. Alrighty, the last 20 out of the Azul bag. And then we'll pour what we have been placing in this box lid back into the bag to replenish the bag for the following and subsequent rounds. Hurrah! Dink. That's the first one. That's good. That would give me that. Oh, two pairs on that one. Black and red. I'd like a buttload of white. Those right there. Is there enough to do that this round? No. So it'll carry over regardless. I would like to get as much as I can. It's still, I won't be able to do anything else with this row until the next round. So I'm going to go ahead and pour the rest of these in here. Back in. And 
And now we have our Azul bag ready to go for round six. Should it be needed? Alrighty. I am first player, so I will be going first. I would like to finish. It's the same either way. It doesn't matter. The single blue or the single white. Let's just take these. So that is finished. Boom, boom, boom. Um, we only have three pairs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight are rerolls. Five. So the yellows are removed. Gives us a black and a blue. Hmm. I may let the whites accumulate over here before I take them so I can take them all in one turn. Which means that's going to be tricky. If I do blacks then it's going to roll for those There's two blacks left but the whites also it's going to be a roll between reds and blacks regardless okay so i am going to i think i want to control the next round i'm going to take from here and i'm going to take the first player Tile again. Uh, odds evens. Please be odd. It's even. Doesn't that just figure? So those are going to be taken next time. Um, so what do I want? I would like a black right there. Ah, maybe not. I have nowhere to put blues, though, so I really don't have a pony in this race. And I'm trying to avoid reds so as not to inordinately complete a rows or columns before I want to be done. Playing solo and all. Going for points. So, odds, evens. Evens, reds are gone. I'm going to have to do extra turns. I'll take those, too. Uh, the only pair extant blue is gone. I will take this one. The yellows are going to disappear. And I will take a black. It goes right there. Red is gone. Score the round. Uh, this goes over. So that is one, two. Two points. Not a lot going on here. Uh, this one is going to score, and that is going to be one, two, three, four, five points. This will ramp up in a little bit. Not long. Sixth turn coming up. And again, this is just to beat your own score, but this is really cool. Take along outdoors on a picnic. Um, shoot these suckers with clear coat so they're not going to get damaged by being outside. But I mean, we that's how we do this. I take it whenever it's going to be an outside day and it gets set up on a table and we play Azul. It has replaced Dominoes. There's a set. A set of red. That'll be the first one to go. All those yellows, and I don't have anywhere to put them. Ha! Huh. This might be it. Okay, if I go with the reds, ah, uh, hmm, this might be it. This might be it. We're going to go with the reds. All right. We're probably going to end the game right here on the sixth turn and see how it goes. So boom and boom. Um, one, two, three, four pairs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven. The reds are gone. I actually would have liked to have had them at this point. That's all right. 
Uh, I'm going to take, in order to put the blues, in order to put those, I might take, oh goodness, oh, oh man, look at this crap. Um, I'm pondering because these two right here, if I take the black and this comes down here, then the AI needs to not roll this for me to get a single one of those, or else I got to take a penalty point. Let's just do it. Let's take the black. I don't think about it too hard. It's just a display game. Uh, pairs, odds, evens. Be odd. That's an odd. Thank you. Dink. Okay, so we're going to take that one. This comes down. And now, since this is going to be the last turn of the game, I'm fairly certain... Um... Yeah, I think it is. So I'll let the AI do that. And the blues are gone. I'm going to take this. Um, the AI is going to... And I'm going to get some negative points, but whatever. That's fine. Odds, evens. Evens. Yellows are gone. I'm going to take the black and put it here for minus one point. And those are taken by the AI. And this is going to be the end of the game, I think. So let's bring this over here. And that's going to score 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 36 to 45. Let's bring this over. That is going to score 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Boom, 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 boom. We have a row, we have a column. It is the end of the game. Uh, this is going to come over here, and we're going to score 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This does count both horizontal and vertical for scoring. You can count it more than once, not just one time. This counts for each direction. So that is 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This goes there, and that is going to score 1, 2, Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. For each completed row, you get plus two points. So that's the only completed row, so that's one, two. For each completed column, you get seven points. I only have one, that is seven points. And for each completed color, you get ten points. And I have Blue, 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 blue. So that is 10. Yellow, 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 yellow. Missed it because the whites were hanging it up. Red, red. Black, black, black. White, 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 white. That is another 10 points. So that is 96 minus 6 turns. That is 90 points. Ah, this guy here. Take away one more. So that is 89 points for this solo venture of Azul. And I just thought I would show you guys how I play it solo. Um, yeah, so that's it. Like I said, this is one of my top 10 games that uh, we're going to have on the final portion of the list on Sunday evening. We're on ID Jester's channel, myself, Higher Ground Gaming, ID, and Phoenix Knight. Uh, but yeah, that is Azul using my solo variant. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you did. Dislike the video if you did. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So that way you'll know whenever content is uploaded. Click that dinger bell thingy. And any questions, comments, include a timestamp down in the doobly-doo. I do monitor those so you will get answers quicker if I got a timestamp. Uh, but guys, thank you very much for watching. This has been Chris, the Lower Slower Board Gamer. Keep on rolling.